What's happening, people? I hope you're all well. So Daniel Dubar knocks out Trevor Bryan in the fourth round. And to me, this result is no surprise. Trevor Bryan is what I would class as a B-level prospect. And, I mean, he's not a prospect anymore, but when you look at him as he was on the way up, I would describe him as a B-level prospect. And to make matters even worse than that, in recent times, Trevor Bryan has increased his weight. He used to fight as low as, I think it's listed as 200 pounds as his lowest weight. I think that may be a mistake on box rec. However, he was in the 220s at one point. And in his, before coming into the Daniel Dubar fight, his last two fights were in the 260s after a long layoff. And he looked poor, or I'm not going to say poor, but he didn't look as effective in the 260s as when he was in the 220s. So he came into this fight in the, basically, basically the 260s. He was like 259, 258 or something like this coming into this fight. And he was very hittable. Daniel Dubois had no problem finding the target. And he was also very slow, very sluggish. And some of the problems that he had when he was actually in the low, you know, in the 220s um, were still present when he was in the 260s, 250s, 260s. But he had those problems and he had additional problems. And Trevor Bryan coming into this fight talking a lot about how he's going to do this, he's going to do that to Daniel Dubois. When he got in there, it looked very apparent that he knew what he was up against. He didn't show the same confidence that he showed against um, Goodry or Stiverne. Very early on, Daniel Dubar put his um, authority on the fight. He got on the front foot. He put um, Brian on his back foot. And he started pushing um, the action behind a solid jab. And Daniel Dubar quickly got Brian on the back foot. And it got to the point where Brian wasn't even throwing anything for the majority of the first round. Second round, Brian had a little bit of success, but nothing to write home about. And it, it pretty much was all Daniel Dubar. You know, he, was on, he took center ring. He was pushing Trevor Bryan back. And he was landing his um, jab, solid jab, landing his straight right hand. Trevor Bryan not really offering much at all in, with regards to resistance. He did show some defensive savvy. Um, slipping some of the shots, making Dubar overreach and miss. And he did, you know, Trevor Bryan did come out at the start of rounds trying to jab with Dubar. The problem with Trevor Bryan wasn't so much the technique, but more so the um, sharpness, the fitness. And, you know, all of this doesn't help when you're overweight. So the fourth round, you know, the third round comes, Daniel Dubar hurts Trevor Bryan, I think, with a left hook. And Trevor Bryan and Wobbly Legs just willing to hold. Come to the fourth round and he gets hurt again. And I believe it was a left hook and it made him fall flat on his face. And he just didn't get up. He tried to get up, the ref waved it off. And, you know, the ref basically stopped the fight because he tried to get up. He fell back, he fell back down as he was trying to get back up and the, and the ref waved it off. So Daniel Dubar gets a comfortable win, a very easy win, and a, a win that was for many very predictable. So I'm not surprised by that at all. Um, Trevor Bryan, you know, B-level prospect on the way up. And, you know, I don't think Trevor Bryan, um, you know, he has some assets. I'm not going to come out and say he's terrible. He has some assets. He's got a decent jab. I just think that Daniel Dubai is operating on a different level with regards to athleticism, punch power. Um, he's much more explosive. He's much more aggressive. Um, he's younger, fitter, stronger. And Trevor Bryan really has had a um, topsy-turvy career. So, and, and now he's weighing a lot more than he has done. So that doesn't help either. So Trevor Bryan, he needs to go back to the drawing board, look at what he wants to do, address the weight. Um, you know, address a few things. Maybe he's not the most disciplined, but you know, if Trevor Bryan does um, decide to come back and you know lose some weight, he has something to offer. I'm not going to say he's going to be like a top contender, 
but he has something to offer maybe to be like a gatekeeper or something like that because he's not terrible um, but he hasn't done himself he hasn't done himself justice with regards to his perhaps discipline and weight and you know I don't know how much of the a- lack of activity is down to him but Daniel Dubar he gets the win he moves on um, I hear talk about Dillian White you know now that Daniel Dubar has got the regular WBA the regular WBA title so maybe that's a fight they're looking to make um, Dillian White versus Daniel Dubar at this stage you'd have to go with Daniel Dubar but you know Dillian White is dangerous um, and yeah you know there are fights out there for Daniel Dubar to make is Daniel Dubar ready to take on the likes of you know Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk mm, you know he's 24 years old I'd say give him a bit of time I'd like to see that Joyce rematch there's fights out there for him but he gets a solid win he gets the job done and he moves on and back to the drawing board for Trevor Bryan so what did you make of the fight um, what did you make with Daniel Dubar what did you make with Trevor Bryan let me know like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I make a new video and I'll see you on the next video